Hey, what's up? It's Jeff. I'm here at E3. There's a lot of games going into the show that we kind of knew about already, like the Death Strandings, the Fallout 76s of the world. But I want to highlight the games that maybe I didn't know a lot about, maybe they're surprise announcements, maybe there's a little more clarity about what these games are like. So here are those games that you should be keeping an eye out for. All right, so the first game I'm really excited about is a game I had no idea existed before the press conference started, and that's called Control. And it's a new game by Remedy. These guys made Alan Wake, Quantum Break, and a few other games that have a lot of history in terms of unique narrative storytelling. Don't know a lot about what this game is. It's sort of like a strange telepathic MC Escher, third person sort of thing but it was super intriguing. It made a huge blast at that Sony press conference, and it's definitely a game you gotta keep your eye on. The next game I think everyone needs to start focusing on is Anthem, okay? Uh, when Anthem was first announced, I'll be honest, I wasn't too psyched on what they were kind of pitching for this game, but I've talked to a lot of people who played the game here at E3, and I gotta say, they've kind of sold me on what this game is about, and mostly, what I'm really psyched to sort of experience is this idea of the flying around in this game. Everyone says it controls like a dream, and, you know, Bioware is really focusing this game as a shooter first and an RPG second, and I know that kind of like rings bells of Destiny perhaps, but I like the aesthetic of what Anthem is trying to do more, so that has me more intrigued about what's going on. It's open world, there's a lot of exploration going around, and everyone I talked to that's played this game at A3 is sold on it, and we're not gonna have to wait that long to play it, because Anthem comes out this February. Resident Evil 2, the remake. Why? Because I had no idea this was gonna be a game, and it's a fully reimagined remake, and the best part about it is that it's essentially Resident Evil 4 controls, but that classic Resident Evil 2 gameplay, which is going on 20 years. There's something about the fact that this game coming out as a remake, the nostalgia factor, it's like the first time in video games that I felt the same way I did about a movie remake, where it's this sort of important, very well realized uh, re-envisioning of a really legendary video game. I'm super excited for it, and it comes out next year. Here's another game I had no idea about. It was only teased very quickly by From Software. This is their new game, the makers of Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Their brand new game, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. A lot of intrigue, a lot of uh, real mystery surrounding what exactly this game was gonna be about, and now we know. Action looks intense, really tight, precise controls. Don't really know much about how it actually plays, but really looking forward to checking out their brand new game. This is definitely one I have on my list, and you should too. And finally, the last game I'm gonna wanna talk about is obviously Cyberpunk 2077. Now yes, we knew this game was a thing. Developer CD Projekt Red had announced it a while back, but after seeing almost an hour of gameplay of this game, I can confidently say it was the best game I saw at E3. Opened up a brand new cyberpunk world that is filled with objectives, unique characters, strange places to explore. This game has style, an amazing sense of self-awareness, and I cannot wait to jump into it. I can see this game maybe coming out by 2020, but that's nothing but speculation. So from now until whenever this game comes out, I'm just gonna have to keep thinking about this gameplay session I saw. All right, so that's it. Those are the games you should have your eye on coming out of E3 2018. Thanks for watching.